correctly spacing your text is one of those things that when it's done wrong, graphic designers stop and bug you about. When it's done right, it's never mentioned whatsoever. So it's really important to understand the concepts of kerning, pair kerning, letting, and then there's a neat trick in here. I'm gonna start with the idea of kerning. Kerning is the space in between all the letters. So with the arrow selected, I'm just gonna select my top text block. I'm gonna come down here where it says kerning, and I'm going to say loose, and I'm going to say tight. And I can type whatever value I want here as well. Loose, the higher the number, let me go ahead and spread that out. Let's move that all the way to the left. When this number is set higher, like loose, it spreads out that text. When it's set to a smaller number, like tight, it makes that text closer together. I'm going to do the same with this other text block here. I'm just going to move it to the left, straight, straighten it out. Let's keep it right aligned. When I go and adjust the kerning here, this is doing all the letters. Thing is, is that I'd like these little L's here or the space between the Y and P of type to be a little closer together. And for that, to edit the text, you can just double click directly and your cursor is in between the letters you want. And you will use the option in the left and right arrows to close or open up the space. So I want the Y a little bit closer, but I want the T and Y just a little further apart. And so I'll use an option right arrow. So you can do this sort of pair kerning directly to fix the way spacing between two letters work. A great tip I came across was the idea is to get a feel for how the spacing is, you should look across three letters, not two. So when I look down here at the word wrap, the W, the space between the W and R, I want it to feel like the same space between the R and the A. And so therefore I'm just gonna open up the space a little bit between W and R. I'm happy with that, but I'm unhappy with the space between the A and the P. It's too wide, so I'm gonna option right left arrow to bring it to, to bring it a little bit tighter. So this is pair kerning, and again it's option left and right arrows in between specific letters. We have what's known as letting down here at the bottom and a smaller number, minus 10 brings the text closer together, and a larger number, like 20, takes it apart. This is what you might conventionally think of spacing as du or double spacing. Sometimes, though, you want there to be a little extra space inside of a text block. To do that, you're best to go ahead and get into the text block and actually press the Enter key to separate an extra line, and then select that line. It's a little tricky to actually click and drag from the prior line and up. But with it selected, you could sp pick a specific font, like, say, 20 point here, and it shrinks that space. So we get one text box with one line of the text of a different size, even though it's empty, allowing us to be a little bit more adjustable in that space. So it's a neat little sizing trick to get yourself an empty space of a smaller font.